so over the last day, I've had a lot of people refer me to other YouTube creators' channels. Well, one guy went as far as saying, this guy's not a paid shill. Go watch his video. He'll show you how crappy Fram filters are. Okay. So everybody's got different technology, right? And different prices are uh, applied to different products based on how much technology is put into those products. Fram is one of the number one, if not the number one marketing filter company in the entire world. They've been around, what, since 1930 or 40 or something like that? Or at least that I know of, I should say. Fram makes so many filters for so many companies, including their own. A lot of blowback because of the, the fiberglass, paper-type, cardboard-type ends on their lower-grade filters, the Fram Extra Guard, and I think the Fram Force, there's one more that I'm missing as well, that specifically state you can go up to 7,500 miles on those filters and no more. And if you're doing extreme OCI intervals, you're going to change, which 99.9% .9 of us are anyway, uh, you're going to change your oil out between three to 5,000 miles anyhow. If you're a lot of stop and go, a lot of in-town driving, a lot of um, just 15 minute, 20 minute or less driving, you're going to change your oil by 3,000 miles anyway, right? Just shake your head yes and because you're, that's just the right thing to do. Um, so you don't have a reason to complain about a Fram filter being bad or coming apart or media being in your oil, something to that extent, because they don't break down if you're doing your oil changes on time, regularly, and understanding your vehicle like a good operating owner should. Now, if you're wanting to go to a Fram filter that is has better technology that you're going to pay for, you're going to go to a Fram Ultra Synthetic or a Fram Titanium, something to that extent that does have um, a metal core. It does have metal cap ends. It does have an uh, anti-feedback valve. It does have a bypass valve and stuff in it. That's what you're going to do if you're going to run a higher mileage or a higher end vehicle. And they operate just fine. What's ironic is people that have bought into the whole Fram is the worst product on the market for so long and they want to be part of that crowd because they've seen things or they've experienced bad things as they jump on the bandwagon with everybody else and they roll with it and they love it. I think people people are to the, uh, to the common crowd like Misery Loves Company and when they get a chance to talk trash about something and then they have other people that join in with them, they feel good about trashing companies. Well, how about I trash the person in the light aspect of uh, being respectful of not servicing not servicing their vehicle properly. If you're going to use a Fram Extra Guard filter, you're changing your oil by 3,000 miles. That's what you're doing. Or you're just asking for problems. Any cheap filter to that extent, if you're not changing your oil by 3,000 miles, you are the problem. If you're going to go to something... Uh, like a five to seven seven thousand five hundred mile oil change interval, then you're going to step up to a better grade filter. You're going to go to a Fram Ultra Synthetic. You're going to go to a Fram Titanium. You're going to go to a phenomenal product like Wix or Napa Gold or something like that. That's what you're going to do. That's the right way to do it. But if you're a lot of short trip driving, if you're a lot of in town driving, if you're a lot of I don't I don't even drive a lot. My vehicle sits a lot. Um, you're gonna go. You can use a regular standard, uh, cheaper filter. If you're driving, if your vehicle is gonna sit for a while and you're not gonna put a lot of miles on it, then why don't you just put a better quality filter on there for that extra protection? You can bump up to a uh, Fram Ultra Synthetic like I have in in my truck right now. I just I'm running all these different filters to actually try them out, show you what they look like, and then you know give you some feedback. I just ran the SuperTech filter and cut the top of it off. I wasn't impressed by that filter. It filters a lower grade, cheap filter, but it's a filter. I do understand that as an owner of a vehicle, I can't put a cheap filter on a vehicle and then realize, or and, and then take advantage of a manufacturer uh, allowance OCI of 10,000 miles. It doesn't work. It will not work. You literally have to be a good owner of a vehicle and understand the product that you're working with Knowing that if you buy cheap, you're going to get cheap results. If you buy uh, cheap stuff, it's going to hit you in the pocket. That's just what it is. 
if you want to buy cheap stuff, conventional oil and things like that, you have to change your oil more often. 3,000 mile OCI with a cheap filter and conventional oil would be more than sufficient for most vehicles. But all these new vehicles with tighter tolerance engines, low, low friction piston rings, and this newer technology, especially with uh, timing chain components and stuff like that that are relying on oil flow, oil pressure, why would you buy cheap stuff anyway? Why would you not just bump up to a ultra synthetic or a titanium filter or something like that? Why would you not go get a really good Wix filter or a Napa gold, gold filter or something like that? They don't cost a lot of money. You're protecting yourself by doing that. And a lot of these oil filters that are seven to nine dollars, uh, some of them like mobile and stuff like that, that are 13, 14 dollars K and N. Um, these filters, they last a long time and they filter very, very good. So literally, if you're changing your oil three to 5,000 miles, you could put a, a titanium uh, Fram filter on your vehicle, or you could put a ultra synthetic filter on your vehicle, seeing as you don't have a really dirty engine or anything like that, and literally just drop the oil and change it. And then leave the filter on the vehicle. Now, am I telling you to go do that? No, but you literally could. Those higher end filters are literally good enough for multiple oil changes before you even have to change them. I don't understand what people's problem is and why they can't wrap their, their minds around because a filter has a, a uh, fiber media end and you, you think that you're going to go some 10,000 mile oil change interval and that filter is going to stand up to that? It's absolutely ridiculous. The filters are not even rated for that. But yet most of these people are out here trying to run 10, 15,000 miles between oil changes and then they're, they're, they're claiming that, oh, it's the filter's fault. No, it's not. It's your damn fault. You buy cheap filters, you're gonna get you're gonna get real nice results that are gonna affect your pocket. It's not it's not the oil filter companies. They've been around for long enough. They know what works and what doesn't work. They run these filters through these tests and stuff like that to know what they can get out of them before they start to come apart or they're not doing their job anymore. It's you, the consumer out there, that wants to take for granted what the engineers of the the manufacturers, the vehicle uh, makers and stuff. Or, oh, yeah, you can go 10,000 miles, you can go 7,500 miles, you can go 15,000 miles, you can go 25,000 miles, and you take advantage of it. You think that they're actually out there looking out for you when they say stuff like that, when all they're doing is they're protecting their investment in you, the consumer. They're making you think that you have to spend less and do less so you buy their product. It's wrong because they're not telling the truth about things. You're not going to be able to go 10,000, 15,000 miles every single time. There are some people out there that are successful doing that. But they are on top of their vehicle maintenance. They are meticulous with everything. The plugs are changed. The filters are changed all the time. They get away with stuff like that. But some of you out there that don't have a lot of money, that have cheaper vehicles and stuff like that, that cannot put that type of investment in your vehicle to make sure that they can run that oil change interval, which I don't recommend anyway, you can't afford to do that. You have to protect what you have. And that means a 3,000 to 5,000 mile oil change interval if you're going to use a cheap filter and cheap oil. That's it. Bottom line. I don't care how many YouTubers are out there. I don't care how many people out there, oil guys are out there that they're giving you the specs on stuff. I get it. I get why they're showing you that one's better than the other. But at the end of the day, if you were doing your job as a vehicle owner and you were maintenancing that vehicle like you were supposed to, you would never have a filter come apart inside that vehicle. There's not a filter on the market that will not do its job in a three to 5,000 mile oil change interval. There's not, a, there's not a Fram cheap filter that says you can go 10,000 miles and be safe. None of them are even rated for that. But yet you do it anyway, and when the filter comes apart, you're complaining to people about, oh, it's in my oil, it's in this, whoa, did you run it like you were supposed to? No, no, you didn't. Fram filters are completely fine. Get the filter based on the application of what you're going to use it for. If you're going to go more than 5,000 miles, upgrade to a better filter. Go to an ultra synthetic, go to a uh, Fram titanium, go to a Wix or something like that, or a nice Napa Gold or whatever. Know what you're buying and quit blaming the product. Now, if you're going to start doing short, uh, you don't drive a lot, or you're, you're doing short trips and things of this nature, put a cheap filter on it. Put a Super Tech filter on it. Put a Fram Extra Guard filter on it. You're perfectly fine, but change it often. Don't wait 7,500 miles, 10,000 miles, 15,000 miles. You are literally your, your worst enemy when it comes to that because people pick the wrong application. They go to these quick lube places. They go to the Jiffy Lubes and the Bob's Oil Mart or Billy Bob's uh, Quick Stop. 
and you get a $20 oil change and you expect to run 7,500 miles, 10,000 miles. That's BS. It doesn't work. You're back there again getting that same oil change 3,000 miles later, 5,000 miles later. Be smart about it. Quit blaming everybody else and realize that you're not putting your money into your vehicle that gets you from point A to point B because either you don't have it, which that means you have to change it more often, or you don't care. It doesn't come down to the product. The product works. It's just how you work the product and how long you abuse it before it gives up on you. Thanks, guys.